Hello everybody, Rami Lee here, and welcome back, finally, to Undertale, for anyone who actually watches it. Uh, it's been a while, I figured I'd make this for a Sunday upload. I really do want to finish it for everybody, if they've been enjoying it. Sorry, Undyne, like, tol told us there was totally a human in the area, so like... Us Royal Guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Gah. Even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. That's very nice. You know, it's been a while. Let's give uh, our good friend Papyrus a call. What? Royal Guards are blocking the way? Then I'll tell them to, well, nothing I guess. I already told them to seek out and destroy you. And I can't just tell them I've changed my mind. You see, Alphys showed me those... <laughs> showed me these animations about, uh... Humans? So I could learn their weaknesses. And one of them is about this human that, uh... Well, suffice to say, they can control people's minds. Surprised? I know your kind's hidden power. Anyway, I told my crew that if I ever defended a human, I must be under some kind of mind control. And to disregard everything that I tell them. So sorry, but my hands are tied. By the way, that animation is really good. I see. Well, without further ado, let's enter this spooky laboratory. It's you! Oh, God. <laughs> well, everyone, if anyone doesn't know the story here, we're about to meet uh, your favorite character. <sighs> oh god. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... Elf is here. Um. Uh, hiya. I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal assistant. Uh, assistant. Royal scientist. I can't. I can't do it like uh, Dan does. I actually really liked his uh, his his Alphys voice. But but, but uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've um been observing your journey through my console, your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make it more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments, like, um, anti-human combat features? Uh, of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so, and, um... Now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> uh, but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, God. Did you hear something? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> I already said it. Welcome, beauties. To today's quiz show. Yes, yes, hold your applause. Oh, boy. I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. I'm truly honored. Never played before, gorgeous? No problem. It's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. 
or you die. Oh, great. Oh, God, Metatod, why do you gotta do this to my friends? Hey, buddy. I see. It's vulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Uh, more questions? Right! Sounds like you get it. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? I already knew that one. I didn't need Alphys' help. The quiz show continues. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? Here's another easy one for you. Two trains, train A and train B. Someone takes you to part station A, station B, station A, station 2, 2.2. Uh, I can't do it that fast. Uh, obviously, I knew it was 32.058 minutes. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Uh, clearly 54. Correct! You're so lucky today! It's kind of suspicious. Let's play a memory game. What monster is this? Metaton. I'm so flattered you remember. I actually wonder if there was a clue to that anywhere in the game, but I'm not sure. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Uh, I, li I like Alvis's face. Great answer. I love it. Here's a simple one. How many letters do they met a ton? Let's see. Of course, that was easy for you. So everyone loves me. Time to break out the big ones. In the, in the dating simulation. Oh, I, I can't read that fast. You... You could all just read it yourself. Typical weeaboo nerds. I should know. I oh, am. Yeah, Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Alf Dr. Alphys have a crush on? <laughs> <laughs> well, Alphys, what should we say, huh? Like, if you say the humans, like, wow, conceited much? Let's choose Undyne. See, Alphys, I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together. Sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. Well, well, well. With Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Metaton away! We did it. Well, that went well. Well, that was certainly something. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm all sweaty. I can't take it. Th that last question, he wasn't supposed to ask that one. Eh, that's whatever, Alphys. Wait! Where do you think you're going? Let me give you my, f my phone number. I can't believe I was so bold to ask that when we just met. Uh, then maybe if you need help, I could. Uh, Nani? Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. Well, thanks for the free upgrade. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting items. It's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> oh god, you're you're coming on too strong, Alphys. Just calm down. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> smooth, Alphys. Real smooth. So... 
Even though she tells you flat out it does items, I guess it's easy to miss. But basically, now you have your boxes whenever you want. So that's pretty nice. And there's some work going on outside again. I just realized they didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Stupid anime emote face. Well, uh, <clears throat> Alphys, you, uh, didn't capitalize your eye. I'm very upset. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them, cat anime face. Yeah, when I was playing this game for my friend, uh, I forgot how long ago it was. They actually got quite annoyed at this park because of the constant interruptions. Vulcan strolls in. Hey, little buddy. Have you ever hugged a volcano before? It warms your heart and your whole body. Ouch! Ah, so lovey. Uh, I, <laughs> I apologize for that voice. I can't do a high-pitched voice very well. I won! Let's get the heck out of here. Also, the music to this place is hot fire. I'm gonna call them in a minute. I'm so nervous. My knees weak, my arms are heavy. Well, everyone, I hope you've been enjoying your weekend so far. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs, it fills you with determination. I hate using the phone, I don't want to do this, the bow. Oh, I'm just, I'm just so awkward. <laughs> I've been waiting to meet her. Everyone, this is Sundare playing. She gets in the way, but not on purpose or anything. And definitely not because she likes us. Baka. Let's approach her, but not get too close. Eh, human, Ningen. Say, so just wanna get a little close until you achieve maximum blushing. So their plane shakes its nose dismissively at you. <laughs> uh, if you actually kill Sundare Plane in a fight. She has a pretty horrifying animation for defeating her. I could never have peace and quiet when I'm trying to make my videos. No, is this the way forward or... Oh, okay. And here we have a frying pan. But if we put it on her head, it's a drying pan. Let's equip that bad boy. Even though we're not violent. Okay. Now we can move on. Oh my god, I've had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. Oh my god, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call. Whoever's calling hung up before you answer. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, Alf is here. Uh, hi, so the blue lasers, uh... I mean, Alf is here. Hi. Obviously, it's it's me, Alf. Is. The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Uh, orange ones, um... You have to be moving. And they, um... They won't, um... Move through those ones. Uh, bye. Oh, my God, I did it. Class haven't shook like that since Sunday called me to ask about the weather. Nani, wait, there's no weather down here. Why'd she call me? Oh, I can't take it. Everyone, <clears throat> I have to apologize in advance if my Alpha's voice is extremely grating. Hopefully it's offset by my <clears throat> by my Metaton voice. Yeah, deactivate those lasers. Oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go. Q, 
cute pic of me right now. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters. Well, she is trash. Uh, Elf is here. The, the door the door will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and left. Uh, I think you should, should go to the right first. Well, I hate to ruin her self-esteem, so let's go to the right. Hey, cool cats. The way to work is blocked, so I had time to catch Metaton's show on my phone. The special effects were amazing today. That human almost looked real. Metaton? Yeah, he was the most popular star in the underground. His fan club probably has at least two, no, three dozen members. Wow. <clears throat> It's more than what I have. Purdy! Pur no, Purdy, no! Stop meowing! I don't want to hear it. Don't talk back to me. Wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. Uh, yeah. I don't need to talk to a floating cat head. All too easy. Wow, you solved it? I'm impressed. You must be a total nerd. Why, yes, I am. Purdy, stop it! Yaddy, yaddy. Purdy, will you just behave? Uh, Alf is here. Th that blue laser seems totally impassable. But, but, as the royal scientist, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll hack into the, the hotland laser database and take it out. Why, thank you. Hello, Hotman. Finally, someone turned off that laser. Now that we're free, we can... Well, uh... I guess we'll just keep standing here. We were hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules. They've got to cancel school over this. You troublemakers. I think Purdy's going nuts because my friend named this one. Sorry everyone, I'm back. Uh, oh, wait, no, that was not the solution. I failed you. Oh jeez, I always do this. Oh, whoop, got it. <laughs> All right, moving on. Open sesame. Whatever, I'll just explain it. Uh, Elf is here. I think, um, hey, about the puzzles on the left and right. They're a bit difficult to explain, but, uh, you, you already solved them? Awesome. Haha, <laughs> Alphys, you fool. Alphys, you fool. I noticed when you came back from the lab. Huh? Hey, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry. I'll hack it to the light system and brighten it up. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Welcome, beauties, to the Underground's premiere cooking show. Cooking with a killer robot. Hooray. Preheat your ovens because we've got a very special recipe for you today. We're going to be making a cake. My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone give them a big hand. Thank you. Thank you. We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. Alright, simple enough. Great job. Just put them in the middle of this counter. Perfect. Great job, beautiful. We've got all the ingredients we need to bake that cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. Oh my, wait a magnificent moment. How could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient. A human soul. When I first saw that part, it made me laugh. Hello, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Wait a second, 
couldn't you make a uh, couldn't you use a could you make a substitution in the recipe a substitution you mean use a different non-human ingredient why uh what if someone's uh, vegan vegan that's a brilliant idea office actually i happen to have an option right here MTT brand always convenient human soul flavor substitute. A can of which is just over on that counter. All too easy. Well, darling, why don't you go get it? No problem. It's like a perfect analogy for my life. By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the can in the next one minute, we'll just have to go back to the original plan. So better start climbing, beautiful. <laughs> oh no, there's not enough time to climb up. Fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. You see that huge button that says jetpack? Watch this. Wow, the new phones of today's got nothing on that. You should have just enough fuel to reach the top. Now get up there. No problem. I just gotta dodge all of these tasty ingredients. Can I do it without getting hit? The milk part is always the hard part. Gotta love this bossa nova, if that's the right term version of the, uh, the thing. So far, so good. I can't wait for Deltarune. Well, the, the full thing. Y you know what I meant. No! I failed. I tried so hard not to get hit. But in the end, it didn't even matter. My, my. It seems you've bested me. But only because you have the help of the brilliant Dr. Elphys. Oh, I loathe to think what would have happened to you without her. Well, doodles. Oh, yes, about the substitution. Haven't you ever seen the cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time. So forget it. Once again, perfect analogy of my life. <laughs> wow, we did it. We, we really did it. Great job out there, team. Shut up, Alphys. <laughs> well, uh, anyway, let's keep heading forward. I'm all for clipped. And we finally reached the next safe spot. I was hoping there was one beforehand so I could have just ended the episode. But here we are. And I'm, I do that every time. I go to say ominous and I say ominous. Amadeus? An ominous structure looms in the distance. You're filled with determination. That gives me an idea for a thumbnail. I didn't think she'd call me that soon. See that building in the distance? That's the core, the source of all power for the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical electricity by nerd. Anyway, that's where we're going to go. In the core is an elevator directly to Asgore's castle. And from there you can go home. Alright, let's save again. Well, everybody. I <laughs> really hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I, I, I tried. Once again, this has been Robbie Lee. And if you're feeling so beautiful, feel free to like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Have a wonderful Sunday.